Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. Well, the latest Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, the Digital Master 780 that comes with it works with RIDI FSK and uh, the ICOM radios. I'm using it with my ICOM 7610 and I'll show you how I have it set up. Okay, I'll have an article on my website, www.k0pir.us, with some screen captures. And you can also find the screen captures for the radio and the internal menu settings on that website. So have a look at it. There will be more links to uh, some useful information there for you. But right now I'm using the uh, latest Ham Radio Deluxe. I've got DM780 pulled up, Digital Master 780. And I'll show you the settings that I use for RIDI FSK. My radio, the mode is set to RIDI. It's not USB-D. It's set to RIDI. I've got RIDI FSK selected here. And that's under this menu. RIDI FSK. And I'll have reverse selected. That's real important. Got to have reverse selected. We're going to go into the options. And uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the waterfall. And you can see over here in my waterfall, I have the center marked. And if you first tab the center marker, first tab, you want to enable this, set it to 2210 for the center. And that gives me a good reference, shows me where I'm at on the waterfall. Next is going to be the sound card. And I'm using the USB audio codec. Yours will say USB audio codec unless you renamed it like I have here. So the input and the output, USB audio codec. And then up to the radio, we're going to use Ham Radio Deluxe for push to talk. Excuse me, yeah, push to talk, Ham Radio Deluxe for push to talk. The next place we'll go is modes and the IDs. And the CW tab, I am using uh, COM5, and I'm using the 7610, so I have two virtual serial COM ports. And COM5 is the one that I use for USB SYN keying. Got that selected ETR. And then RIDI, the RIDI tab, the same deal. FSK keying, I've got it enabled, and COM5. That's the uh, one that I have set for CW, and again, I'm using DTR. And then this under Devices, we're using the first one. It says ICOM DTR in here. That's the first one. So let me tell you about the cable that I'm using. 7610, go ahead and close this. The 7610 with the USB cable, you get two virtual serial COM ports, and I'll have a link on my article uh, it gives a little bit more information on that. But if you're using the ICOM 7300 and you're going to use the PAN adapter with Ham Radio Deluxe, I suggest using just the USB cable. And if you use just the USB cable, you're going to have to use something like Virtual Serial Ports Emulator, VSPE. And uh, that's a program that splits the COM port. You'll be able to use the COM port for rig control and you'll also be able to use it over here for FSK keying. That's if you're using Virtual Serial Port Emulator or a similar program. Go back up here. Over to RIDI. And you'll be able to use that same COM port with it split. Otherwise, if you're not going to be using the PAN adapter, you can use two cables. And I really find that easier. The one cable, the CIV cable, use it for rig control, for the HRD rig control, and then the USB cable, that COM port, use it for FSK keying. And I have more information on, on that in the article on my website, it gives a little bit more detail. Right now I find the PAN adapter in Ham Radio Deluxe not useful. So if you're not going to use the PAN adapter, I'd suggest two cables. I'm going to use the pan adapter in the future when it gets improved then I would find something like VSPE and start using it because you need the USB cable to use the pan adapter that speed has to be set to 115.2 
and uh, that's going to be uh, something you can decide later if you want, or uh, go ahead and get that uh, get that software and get it set up and get used to it. I have a video in my article, and it shows you how to use a virtual serial port emulator. So uh, right now we've got it set for reverse, and we have a center button down here. If you've got, if you find you're transmitting off, say over in this area, just hit that center button and it'll line you up. Now I've got, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. I've got a macro set here. I can just go ahead and click on my macro. And there you go. Now I know this is working because I've decoded it using my KX2. And you'll notice that's pretty quick. There's no delay in there. I can go ahead and send it again. No delay in there. And when I first set this up, what it did when I hit that macro, it keyed up. But it took about six or seven seconds before it actually started sending, before the diddle started. And I'd had that problem before. And I remember what I did. I went into Device Manager, and I pulled up that COM port that I'm using for FSK Keying. I'm going to double click on it, and that brings up the properties. I'm going to go over to Port Settings, and then I'm going to go to Advanced, and I uncheck First In, First Out, FIFO, First In, First Out. I unchecked it, clicked OK, and then when I went back to it, it worked right away just like we just did so that may be something that will be useful for you if you find that you try to when you send it just keys the radio and it takes six or seven or ten seconds before the diddle starts try that and see if it works for you well go ahead and close that out close that so there you go then one more time It's been working real good for me, and I like 3D FSK and Digital Master 780. It works really good. So I hope you find this informative and useful. I hope to hear you on the air. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Best 73 and good DX.